Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of the ATS Macro Simulator Episode 4. We're gonna try another quick job today. But before we do that, really quickly I wanna re step what I said. I don't know what I was saying. I just wanna take back what I said last episode. I said these states were completely wrong. So this is California, I knew that one. 100%. This is Nevada. I knew that as well. I don't know why I forgot that. And this is Arizona. So, for you people out there that actually know the states, I am very sorry for getting that wrong. Um, <laughs> I completely just, pff, I don't know what I was doing. Uh, but yes, this is California, Nevada, and Arizona. So, last episode, we went on this road, so we went El Centro. So we've basically just been exploring California right now. We haven't ventured into any other states. Haven't entered, entered into the state of Nevada, where Las, Los Angeles, Las Vegas is, not Los Angeles, is here. <laughs> Las Vegas is. And we haven't entered Arizona, where you got like Phoenix and the Grand Canyon and all that. So we need to, we need to go explore the other states, but for now we're just staying around wherever we get a good job. So quick job here, we're gonna go Oh, we can do that route again? I don't think so. We're gonna do this job. Okay. We can just scrape Arizona. Oh, look, it even says the states here. California, Nevada, and Arizona. So we can almost enter on the border between California and Arizona, hopefully. Try that one, I guess. Let's, yeah, let's try that one. Let's try that one. Let's see if we can get on the border between California and Arizona. We can explore a little bit more. Hopefully get somewhere nice. Right. Oh, we just spawned in. Look at this. Did we get any damage then? I don't know. It just felt like it was a rough landing by the truck. Um, but here we are. It's going to be kind of a little bit of nighttime driving, but it doesn't really matter. Let's uh, get, zoom out a bit here. I always do this. Make sure I can see everything. Now the indicators are actually down there at the bottom, like just above the steering wheel, so you can't really see them. Uh, that doesn't matter. Right. Where are we going? We're going over there. Can we scrape this through? Yep. Very good. Right. Whoa, we can't see. Come on, everybody can't, everybody's can't come past. We could have gone then. Right, let's get going. So, right now, we are, where, where are we? Right, right now, we are in Los Angeles and we're going to Yama. Yama. Very Yama. Actually, can we just... Just move us down a little bit here. Right, so we can see a little bit more. So like I was going about last episode, you can actually see your speed on this quite easily. Uh, if I find it, there it is. Speed is on there, so you don't have to follow the analog sticks. Although this truck is a little bit better for that. Some trucks, it's just very, very hard to tell what speed you're going because the the, uh, the speedometer just can't even read it. Right. Burn a burn, burn a burn, burn a burn. The music in the menu screen is actually quite good. <laughs> I'm quite a fan of it. It's kind of—it's not even. I don't know why rock music is considered all America. I mean, obviously, it's kind of originated in America, but it's very—it's very American, if you get what I mean. Even though, see, that's a bit of grass again. Look at that. A bit of grass again. Right, we're joining the same road as we were just on then, except we're just going a little bit further than El Centro this time. So, if that's the case, this is going to be a little bit of a longer video. I think. Have we come past El Centro? Oh, we're not. Hang on. Where's El Centro? What am I doing here? Last time, 
we went to El Centro. Oh, it's there. Oh, we are literally driving to El Centro. We are literally doing the same journey as we did last time. Except this time, we're going a little bit further. <laughs> to the border. Well, never mind. We're basically doing the same journey as last episode. But, uh, we're going a little bit further, so... At least we can get a little bit closer to Arizona this time, so hopefully maybe get some quick jobs there. Which would be nice. Right. I don't want to move into this lane. Right, so night time. Oh boy, we're actually driving in the night. Oh, that sunset looks beautiful. Look at that. That sunset looks really nice. Except we're not facing it, which is quite disappointing. The sunset's just behind us. We could have been facing that. It would have been nice, but nope, we're just gonna have to look at it, look at it through our mirrors. Definitely get more of you up the left one. Luckily, so I don't have to keep doing that. Like trying to drive and look at the sunset that way. I can just kind of look at it that way. Anyway, if I ever if I ever struggle to get to a place fast enough, I can always change the speed limit to be uh, to be car limit, and then I can go like a little bit faster without getting a ticket. But it's sort of cheating I mean it's not really cheating uh, cheating's the wrong word it's sort of going against the rules because you know you are I'm trying I'm trying to be you know a truck driver here and truck drivers you can't just change to go the car limit instead of the truck limit but um, I want to I want to see if I can go very far and you know if, if, if it comes to that don't want to lose out on money we can always do that and it's not a big deal even though we're trying to be an authentic truck driver we don't we don't need to be that authentic. It's like the case where we can't even speed a tiny bit. If we speed a tiny bit, we'll get a ticket and die. Um, although, we, if we do speed now, we will get a ticket and mostly lose a lot of money. <laughs> I have had a profile once where I, I got to very low amounts of money and managed to bounce it back. This is on ETS2. And it's it's hard. It takes a while. and Without getting a bunch of loans, it can be very hard. But um, if we don't get a bunch of loans... This kind of where you start. I mean, where I started off is I got a bunch of loans and ended up having to pay loads of money back. I wasn't actually getting enough money myself, and I wasn't very good at driving back then. So when that happens, you you have it. You have a little problem. But for now, we are actually doing all right. We haven't got much of a problem here. <laughs> driving around, and we are, we seem to be gaining a little bit of money. I mean, thirteen thousand is not a huge amount, but it's not nothing. I've been getting quite a lot of my main profile, something like 65,000 I'm on now, because I'm not spending any of my own money. Like, this is the great thing about quick jobs, it's, and the great thing about this game, which is kind of unrealistic, is you don't actually spend any of your money, apart from on trucks and business stuff, you don't actually spend any of it. So it's almost like the expenses of spending for bills and whatnot are kind of taken off before you get your money, which it, it sort of makes sense, you kind of like a bank account for the truck driving business, but what this really means is that this 13,000 is money I have to spend and I don't have to spend it at all till I get my own truck. I can just have that money sitting there and do absolutely nothing with it. And nothing will come out and it will, also, it will all just go in. That's unless I get fines. So as long as I don't get fines, I can keep all my money and keep on adding to that money. Which is perfect really. That's the easiest way to start the game is to do that. So if you get a loan, you're actually getting money taken out of your account. Um, which can be a bit annoying when you're trying to play this game and you get tickets and you know you have to pay 3000 the next day. It means you have to do a lot more driving. It means it's a little bit more stressful to get the driving perfect where it's kind of nice and calm when you're doing quick jobs. Uh, as soon as you move to get your own truck though it gets a little bit crazy because you're like I cannot touch anything because I have to pay for damage. Even though you pay for damage when you do quick jobs it's just not like it takes money out it just takes money off the total. So you feel a little bit better. But not when you have your own truck. You just feel terrible. <laughs> and you know you're going to have to pay it back. Right. There's lots of roads I haven't explored yet. I really want to get going and actually just drive around the whole place. I've driven a lot of it on my on my other profile. And whenever I start playing, I'm like, ooh, 
New city discovered, new city discovered. You know, that feeling of discovering new cities is something that I haven't had in ETS2 for a while. I mean, I've discovered new cities every now and then. I go to a place I've never been before. Every now and then I go to a place and it's just like, whoa. But basically, I don't know if there's any cities that I can remember right now. I, I mean, it's probably like one or two that I've never been to in ETS2. In this profile, I've probably been to some before. There's definitely not any that I've never, ever been to. There's just some... I've never been to before in the profile I'm playing right now. That's insane. And in this game, I'm just exploring new cities all of the time. Right, El Centro is to the, to the right here, so we're going to turn off here. Then we're going to continue down this road, and when we're going to go past El Centro, hopefully, maybe we go through El Centro this time. That would be nice. I was mentioning that last episode that I really wanted to go through El Centro. Oh, by the way, guys. The indicators, I've said this before, but just so you guys get a reminder, the indicators are in a completely different place. They're down below there. You can't see them. They're down below the wheel. So that's why it looks like I'm not indicating, but I am. But you can hear the sounds, hopefully, if the audio works. <laughs> you can hear the sounds. You should be able to know that I am actually indicating. For all those people that actually care that I'm, if I'm driving properly on this game, uh, one thing I've got to remember about traffic lights, I've just forgotten that now, and I've just remembered. You can turn right on the red and traffic lights here. Though, I don't know if that's actually the case throughout the whole of the USA, but I know it's actually the case throughout the whole of this game. So. Please don't fire me, please don't fire me, please don't fire me, please don't fire me, and it didn't fire me. Now I'm actually going that speed now. Look at the half lights, they are not half lights. These are the normal lights and the half lights are just nothing. Right. Hello, hello. <laughs> flashing just random cars that are going past. Hello, hello, who's that truck driver just flashing me in my car? I'm just driving home from work. I mean, come on. What time is it? It's 10 p.m. Okay, they probably will be driving home from work. Unless they have the night shift or the evening shift. That's a possibility. Now I've got a Christmas song in my head, but I'm not going to sing it because Christmas is long gone. Quite far away as well. <laughs> Hello, truck. It's interesting seeing a bunch of trucks like this. I'm getting used to having trucks like this one. I'm getting used to driving this one, but it's, uh, it is weird. It is weird to, it's all very different. It's all very different indeed to see these types of trucks got the roads instead of, you know, flat faced trucks. <laughs> and quite a lot longer as well, so it's quite interesting to see them. But yeah, it's pretty cool. You can't see much in the dark, it's quite disappointing. Hopefully we'll be able to see like a little cabin in the woods or something at one point, or maybe we will see the city coming up in the distance. Oh, this is where that block is. There's a roadblock coming up on the right now. Let's slow down a little bit. There's a roadblock coming up on the right. It's, uh... Look at that. There's a roadblock here. Just... Oh, it's actually been a crash. Huh. That's a clever way of stopping me going that way. I mean, I can go that way, but that's a clever way of stopping me going that way without actually making like a little crash scene. That's pretty cool. Right, let's keep on going. I just wanted to see what that was like. How far away are we? Not too far away. Berg place. Get a burger? Yes, please. <laughs> um, for a long time, I didn't know the USA peoples. You guys uh, measure it in miles per hour. Your speed and stuff. For a long time, I didn't know that. For a long time, I was... I thought it was kilometers an hour. And for a long time, I thought you had an excuse for driving stupidly fast on roads but no apparently every road you drive on is like a million miles per hour i mean 80 miles per hour that does not exist in in the uk 80 is fast 80 is fast 70 is like the maximum ever <laughs> you got to go on the roads 
you get 80 and maybe even 90. I mean, I don't know if it's 90. But you have different roads to us. We have smaller, narrower roads with a lot more accidents. And, you know, crazy. Craziness. Oh, look at me. Look at me speeding. And then not being able to tell what speed I'm going. <laughs> Alright, hopefully we'll get to the place where we were last episode and we'll be able to see and drive past it. It's coming up now, isn't it? And we'll be going to the new place called Yuma. Yuma, Yuma, Yuma. Sounds to like somebody from the northern areas of the of England. Yume, very yume. I don't know. <laughs> right. So that's where we were last episode, over there. And this episode, we get to continue on. See what lies on the road ahead. Doesn't seem like much, to be honest. Little thing over there. Little stop. Little shop place. Looks like it's for rent. Possibly able to buy that one. Not me. <laughs> car zone. Huh, <laughs> car zone. Hmm. That's how it works. And this is El Centro properly, like actually El Centro now. There you go. Here we are. We're in El Centro. So this is the main city area. That was going on about that. You don't really get to see. I mean, this is not as much of a me. I mean, I haven't explored it all. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not. It's not the same as your track anyway. The cities are a bit different, you know. But obviously, I haven't, obviously I haven't explored it all. So yeah. Right. Go in here. And now we are just outside of Yama. We've got a little bit longer to go. We're almost there. Quite nice to, to be driving. I do like this truck though. This truck's a. It does remind you of you know your traditional big heavy haul USA truck. If you're not from the USA, this is, this is what we imagine all of your trucks are like. I know not all of them are like this, but lots of them are very similar. In the UK, you, de you just never get these <laughs> ever. I I don't think I've I've seen them a couple of times. But I don't think I've really ever like seen these types of trucks on the road. Like, apart from a rare couple of times, it's kind of it. You, know, you never see them. You see the normal normal ones here, which are just ETS2 ones, basically. <laughs> Those are all the ones. All the time you get to see them. Uh, but yeah, you guys you guys are used to these Peterbilts and Kenworths and all that. And uh, also, you have, you have some... Your trucks are a lot bigger. You know, even your, even your flat face ones, your trucks are a lot bigger. Seeing those Kenworths, are, I think Kenworths, are they Kenworths? I think it might be Kenworths. They're very big. And you get your little trucks as well. Sometimes. You, you know what? It's like Swedish manufacturer. Not Swedish, yeah. Um, can't remember the name. Italian or something. <laughs> German? German? Do you have German trucks? I don't know. I'm just yelling gibberish at you. Probably. Or to some people, it'll be gibberish. Don't know what. Some people will not know what I'm on about. Oh look, the speed limit's changed. Go faster! Faster! Look at that, that's a lot faster. 70 miles an hour, that's a bit normal. I mean, you guys can go really fast. What's, what's the speed limit? Oh, it's gone back to 55 now. Okay, never mind. Now. Carol's Trail. Hmm, never heard of this one before. Right, let's turn off here. 
in the Yama. We discovered the Yama. This is very similar to a Yoda Truck Simulator 2 turning this one. Very Yoda Truck Simulator 2. <laughs> this junction type here. It's had a little bit of a makeover for ATS. Right, we're almost at yeah, our destination now. Just up the road here. And here we are. Where are you telling me to park? See, this is very similar to the last one, isn't it? I bet. It is, isn't it? Right. Oh, this is actually, this is one of the barn ones I was talking about. These ones are harder than you think. You think these ones would be a little bit easier. There's a horse there. The horse animation's not bad. I just hit the truck, but no, hopefully no damage was made to this, this truck. Because I'll have to pay for it. There you go. It's a terrible parking, but whatever. That will do. Excellent again. No damage and full pay. Nice one. Alright guys, thanks for watching this episode. If you have enjoyed this one, remember to leave a like. And if you really have enjoyed it, remember to like to see some more of it. Then guys, you can subscribe here by subscribing to this channel. Thank you very much for watching this episode, everybody. And I'll see you all in the very next one. Remember guys... Watch out my other content. I have some videos going out. You know, maybe I didn't catch the last episode of ATS. Go check that one out. If you want to catch some more, there should be some more next week. And um, guys, you can check out some FTL. We've got some of that coming up on the channel. Really short episode of that this week. Hopefully, a little bit longer next episode. Oh, uh, next week. Uh, City Skylines this week has been really interesting. Got some cool stuff going on there. And obviously, a Stardew Valley episode went out last Sunday, so you can watch that one if you haven't already. In the future, there should be another City Skylines episode and maybe some more Stardew and FTL. Maybe an array TS next week. Let's start. Alright, guys, thanks for watching this episode, everybody. Hope you have enjoyed this, and I will see you all in the next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody, and goodbye.